Hi everybody and welcome to Our Philippine Life. I'm Todd. This is Leilani. And Hazel's at work. Um, I just wanted to give you an update as to where we are in terms of our move to the Philippines. Um, first of all, yay, we survived Hurricane Hermine. Uh, blew through Florida past three days and uh, it's gone and uh, we survived. Of course, it didn't hit us directly. It just went up past Tampa Bay and on into the Pensacola, Panama City area. Uh, Tallahassee, they got it. But um, all we got is the, the blow by. Uh, a lot of rain, local flooding, uh, thunderstorms, that kind of thing, trees down. Uh, but no roofs torn off that I know of in our area. Um, so, yay. Um, I am happy to report that my funds have come in. So we now have the money that we need to move to the Philippines and buy our property. Um, we are facing a little bit of indecision, though as to which property to get. Um, Hazel and I have different um, points of view regarding that subject. Um, basically, I would like a, a house with a view or a lot with a view uh, upon which we would build our house. Um, for me, the ideal view is the beach. I would be willing to settle for a mountain view if we can find a good place to do that at a price we can afford. Um, Hazel is also concerned about schools for Leilani, which um, I think most Philippine schools would be adequate. Um, they tend to be the Catholic school system which is perfectly okay with me. I grew up in that school system. I liked it. Uh, Hazel grew up in that school system and she liked it. Um, but she's actually thinking down the road for when Leilani goes to college. She would like to live near to wherever Leilani's going to college at. And, and I don't know how we would know that yet. Uh, there are a lot of colleges in Lipa City and even more in Manila. I do not want to live in Manila. Um, I'd be willing to live in Lipa City. Um, but if I could find a place that is maybe near Lipa City, but which has ready access to the water, um, that would make me more happy. We are seriously considering buying a lot at Summit Point, the uh, golf course and country club, which was featured in one of our last videos before we went to Silver Springs. Um, the lot we want is still available. We are having some difficulty though with the realtor who's supposed to be selling us the property uh, we keep asking her questions and um, wanting to have a, a friend or relative go to the site and um, look at it because we can't be there in person. And so we would like to have a family member or a friend or both go to the site and look at it. And I think she's losing patience with that. She just wants us to hurry up and buy it now and, and we don't operate that way. That's um, a big decision, and if we can't be there in person, then we want someone we trust to be there for us as our proxy. So um, that is kind of malingering um, until we can get someone to go to the, the property. Um, we won't have any direct opinion as to how the place feels. Um, I have seen photographs and videos of it, so I'm convinced it's a nice place. Um, 
but of course there there's no beach anywhere near there. So I'm kind of indifferent to it. I like it, but I'd be happy living somewhere else. Um, so we're really kind of up in the air on that subject. Hazel also feels very strongly about seeing the place in person. Well, that's not going to happen for another year or so. Um, maybe even two years. Um, so trying to anticipate what property will be available for us when we move is really hard to do because how do we know? Um, we can look at places, but until we're really confident that this is the place we want to be, and we're both in agreement on that, um, there's really no way to make that call. Um, and you're probably wondering, well, if we have the money, why don't we move right now? Uh, and we could. But um, we would have no income if we were to do that. We have, you know, a certain amount of money in the bank. It's enough to buy a house and lot and a car, which is good. Um, but then we'd be broke. So rather than rush to the Philippines right now to spend our money, uh, what we're thinking of is it would be better if we waited here in Florida for a little while longer. Um, Hazel has a good paying job. And in about one more year, 14 months or so, um, I'll start receiving my Social Security pension. Uh, Leilani here will also get 50% uh, of my pension as, as my child, who's under 18, living in our home. And Hazel also gets 50% of my pension uh, as my spouse taking care of my child in our home. So basically, I get, we get double my pension, which is really nice. But that won't start for another 14 months, 15 months, something like that. However long it takes the wheels of bureaucracy to start cranking out my pension once I'm eligible, uh, which will be November of 2017. So um, we have to um, wait until then, until I'm eligible. And Hazel had an idea which, you know, I'm thinking it over, I think it's probably a good idea. Uh, and that is, even though I have the pension coming in, why not wait another 12 months? Because if we do that, then while I am receiving my pension every month, she is also working. So her income is enough to pay all of our expenses and I'm banking 100% of my pension. And so that at the end of 10 months, we'd have another million pesos in the bank. And it might be worth waiting 10 months for another extra million to uh, spend on our house and lot or spend on our vehicle and furniture and appliances, or just keep in the bank in case of medical necessity, um, which, you know, as, as I get older, things are beginning to fall apart. Um, not horrendously so, but um, I was diagnosed uh, last week with having an umbilical hernia, which basically means um, my navel is popping out. I, I've always been an innie, and now I'm an outie. And that can be fixed. Um, but it does require a laparoscopic surgery. And um, they would put in a little bit of mesh behind my navel, which sounds really eh. But um, it would put me back together again. And that's one of those kind of things that, frankly, I'd rather have done here in the States. I'll probably do that in January um, because 
our health insurance renews every January 1st and we have like a thousand dollar deductible so you know I figure let's wait until January do it then and um, you know we go to a very good doctor very good hospital all the latest techniques get it done while we're here in America and then um, you know when I go to the Philippines I'll be healthy and um, I'm already on a diet plan where I'm losing weight and that's good so I'm getting um, all of that taken care of while I'm here in the States so that when we move we will have um, more money in the bank to spend on future medical conditions so far knock on wood I have uh, a good heart and so does Hazel we both have seen a cardiologist we're both in very good heart condition <laughs> and of course this little one has an excellent strong heart um, but you know we're not getting any younger so 10 15 20 years from now it could be different I don't know that it'll be different but it would be nice to be prepared and so every time we talk about where do we want to live in the Philippines the subject of hospitals come up uh, Hazel has told me she'd be very happy to live in our uh, house on the beach which is currently up for sale um, but doing so would mean we'd be very isolated um, there are no good hospitals anywhere near there and uh, of course no good schools for Leilani either as far as we know and um, so that doesn't seem to make sense so we're looking elsewhere that has a hospital that has the schools and according to Hazel it should also have colleges otherwise um, she would be inclined to want to move with Leilani when she goes to school somewhere um, so there's there so many pieces to the puzzle so many things that are factoring into our decision making um, it's not just the money now we've got the money uh, and if we wait for um, you know let's see 12 24, 25, 26. If we wait another 26 months to 28 months, um, we'd have an extra million on top in our bank account. I mean, that's something to think about because we'll never have that opportunity to make that much money again as we do while we're here in the States. Once we move to the Philippines, whatever we got, that's it. That's what we have. So we have to really think through it make sure any medical issues have been cleared up um, dental issues you know we have to think about all those things make sure everything is just right for when we make our move and then um, make sure that we've chosen a place that is remote enough that it's beautiful and yet close enough to civilization as she calls it to um, you know have an SM mall and hospital and schools and colleges you know all of that it's quite a, a decision and it's complicated by the fact that she really wants to see it in person before we buy uh, or at least have a family member or, or close friend see it someone we trust and have their opinion before we buy so um, <clears throat> the good news is we're getting closer financially everything's getting geared up and situated to where we can make our move comfortably and live in a nice place but as far as choosing which place you know, we're, we're not really any closer than we were a month or two ago um, we are going to be getting a GoPro for 
silver hero camera um, because the cell phone we've been using um, is dying and the video quality is just not there so we're going to get a GoPro and I'm going to learn how to use it because uh, I imagine there'll be a learning curve there and um, then in our future videos you'll see the difference in video quality right now I'm I'm looking at a Logitech um, one of those little eyeballs that sits on our computer um, but when we go to Silver Springs or places like that uh, we've been using her Galaxy S3 camera, cell phone camera. And um, so by having a GoPro, we'll be having better video quality. And that should be coming soon. Leilani, please, don't do that. So um, we'll be... Um, improving the quality of our videos, uh, taking care of health and dental issues, getting everything all set and ready to go, and saving some money, apparently. Um, I think we're both in agreement that that would be probably a, a good idea to do it while we can. Um, however, if things change here in the States, if it gets to be a situation here that we're really not comfortable with. Uh, we do have the, the resources today to pack our bags and move. We could be out of here tomorrow if we had to be. So, um, you know, progress, yes. Mission completion, not so much. But um, we'll continue to make videos about the Philippines and about where we are here in Florida and uh, we'll keep you updated on our preparations for the move and you'll hopefully see the difference in video quality with our next field trip and um, you know we thank you all for tuning in we appreciate each and every one of you which reminds me we're now over 200 subscribers yay so um, thank you very much. It's a very small channel, I know, but um, go kill the rooster. Okay, I'll the We have a rooster um, for an alarm clock. Some people hate roosters. I think it's kind of cute. Um, so uh, we're at 200 subscribers now, and um, we're hoping once we get a better video camera that that will increase and of course once we are actually in the Philippines uh, we anticipate that will go up but thank you very much uh, from me and from Hazel and from Leilani to each and every one of you uh, for subscribing to our channel and, and watching and liking our videos um, we monitor our channel every day we reply to comments and questions and uh, I want to remind you we also have a website uh, which is www.ourphilippinelife.com you can see all our videos there we also have photographs and there's a blog where you can chat with us there um, so all of that's available at our website and we also have a patron website if you would like to uh, help contribute towards our video expenses and um, our move to the Philippines. Uh, it's a real challenge for us. We're not wealthy people, but um, we're getting closer and your help would be deeply appreciated. And um, so we'll let you know. Um, stay tuned. Keep those cards and letters coming in. And so for now, uh, it's goodbye from our Philippine life. Bye! Bye, 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 bye!